morning we are headed off to pick up this year's piglets. Uh, Corbin is driving because he now can after a lot of delay due to COVID backups for driving classes, doing tests, getting a permit. He's not licensed but he has a permit so he's trying to get his hours in. In North Carolina there are three steps to a driver's license. So this is step one. September he can go for step two and then he would get his adult license. Dee's back there. We are going to do a time-honored tradition of the Olympic pig catching. Um, last year this was hilarious. Stay on your side of the road, Corbin. This is a wide truck over here. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so we didn't video it last year. We will today. We are getting our piglets again from our friends David and Stacy. These are Tamworth Hog Cross piglets. We trade for them actually, which is awesome. And um, yeah, we got a ton of rain yesterday, which should make this extra interesting. The kids have boots on, and uh, anyway, we'll see how this goes today. Easy go, little high, little low. You don't want to turn Queen off? <laughs> Sing to me. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Mama. Be fun. All oh, right. Yeah, it's good muddy too. You got I know. I was like perfect timing, right? All right. Ready? They're right over there with their mom. Am I going in there too? There you go. Yeah. Oh, they're sweet. Aww. No, I ain't this, is, oh. this should go over well. Yeah, get him to that corner. Almost that. <laughs> These things are so fast. Corbin, let the mom come in with the baby first. Oh, there you go. Cut him off. Cut him off. Cut the baby off. Oh, oh back outside. Out. Just stand, just, just stand there. Just stand there. Where's the prize? All right. They're not happy with us, are they? No, not terribly. It's okay. We'll get them settled soon. All right. Hey guys, nice teamwork. Good job. guys you ready to move I know you need more space and you don't like my voice in here okay we are back home piglets are still in the back of the truck we have the big brooder to set up and get these guys moved out they have been in the small brooder set up for about a week and a half they're noisy starting to get dusty and uh, it's just time for them to move out so we're gonna get them loaded in the truck take them to the barn You guys like that sunshine? There's another lid somewhere. I know, I can find it when you I'm can find it? No. You might behind. just have to put Huh. Where could it have gone? What would it be used for the It's right it? there. Where? It's right look down. What? What? What lid? No, there's another there's one just like this. These. There's there's the two of the mesh and two of the solid, right? Cute. I don't know why we thought there were four lids. You Corbin. Thought. Well, everybody kind of thought there was. Anyway, there's only three. Mesh, solid, mesh. And we're going to put the food and water right here. These are our... <laughs> that's one way to do it. These are our mottled Houdan, our cream leg bars, our Phoenix, and what else? The there's one... one. The uh, those are the Phoenix, and one more I forgot what they are. Anyway, huh? No, what's the other one we ordered? Cream leg bars and oh yes, the red black-tailed copper Morans. So which I can't tell the difference on some of these. The Houdans are obvious. Some of the Phoenix were marked, but other than that, I'm not sure. But 
Tons more space, which these guys will love. Oh, the Come hoodons on. are so cute. Okay, everybody set up. Heat lamps in the back. Food. Uh, we have a larger water, but the reservoir is busted, so I need to pick that up. We still have the larger tray. Chick grit, fresh shavings. We're going to cover this mesh top for now to keep the heat in since it's supposed to be cold tonight. But that's our large brooder stuff, and this needs to be wrapped up. Oh, go on. You got to learn. Go drive the truck. You have to learn. All right. I thought Corbin was going to load the pig shelter in the back of the truck, but he has walked away with the pig shelter. So horses are freaking out now. <laughs> what is that guys? Okay. So current situation is temporary. I honestly would never put pig pigs in with goats permanently. I think it's I find goats, I'm sorry, I find pigs very hygienic. They potty in one spot, but I still don't like the idea of feces sitting around goats. So we have a doe in with HB right now, but she's going to leave soon. And then little Raj is going to move back in with him. So for now, pigs are going to go in Raj's pen. Huh, Raji, you can get some new funny looking roommates and uh, share this area. Then what we will do like last year is line it in electric something and eventually move them out. Okay, what are you doing, HB? He sniffed her when she was peeing. Oh, of course he sniffed her when she was peeing. What are you doing, HB? What's wrong with your lip, man? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that'd be good. That way they get some point it towards the sunshine like you did Raji's. Oh, Raj, stay in. Yeah, so, and then just angle it so the entrance is towards the sun. That way they get that. Yep. Turn it, bring the ant back end. There you go. And then we'll fill it with straw. I don't care. <laughs> All right, fill that water up, Matt. Please. All right, you want to let him free? This will be Brats. This is Haggis. Okay, Brats has two black ears and Haggis has one. Yeah. Okay. Or Brats is literally just darker. You ready, babies? They aren't going to go on their own. There we go. You know what you should do is go pick some nuts for them. Find some nuts when you go on your walk. And Dee Dee's going to have to do her pig whisper thing. Look at Raj. He's like, what on earth are those? He's like, are those my children? And they're check on the fence to make sure there's no gaps they can get under. The only way they're going to get through is that one. They couldn't get through last time. Um, I have one person at Agpas named Braxton who works on like one of those big farms. A really big one? Like a yeah. Big one. Okay, there's a scooper in this chick feed so we shouldn't need to bring another one over, right? Okay, so with the chicks and just a rainy week, uh, things have gotten messy, so we need to vacuum and mop the whole house. But before I do that, Matt came in with a surprise. I wish I had had my camera on hand, but I didn't. It was charging. Um, for some reason, he decided, decided to zip out into town this morning, and he stumbled upon something at a very discounted price. I think it was oh, like around 40% off or 30, something like that. Anyway, really, really good deal. Something we've been looking for for a while. Something pretty much every homesteader probably once. Um, I'm going to show you. Ta-da! 
a meat grinder. He says this is the only meat grinder we will ever need. So, great addition, perfect timing. He and Dee are gonna be hunting this year. Um, of course, we're gonna try and make rabbit sausage and pork sausage and whatever else we come on sausage, but that is gonna be a huge asset. So, well done, babe. Very well done. Everybody take care, be safe. I'll see you on the next one.